Hello! I'm Bez, pronouns you they, and welcome to the Binder Mist with Cards. This is just a little show of mine where I take a look at the stranger specimens of Magic the Gathering, a look at their creation and history, cards that are like them, and how we can maybe sketch out a deck with them. You know, all that good stuff. Alright, with that out of the way, let's begin. Today, we are going to take at look. Take at look? Take at look. Hmm. <laughs> um, let's try that again. Today, we're going to take a look at a little card known as Battle of Wits. This uh, interesting little fella has a very simple amount of rule text, but also a very strange amount of rule text, so let's see what it has to offer. Battle of Wits is an enchantment that first appeared in 9th edition. It costs 3 generic mana and 2 blue mana, and it reads, At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. 200 cards, huh? That means you have to make a deck with 200 cards. No, no, no. You have to make a deck with more than 200 cards. Because when depending on when you draw this, you could be deep into a deck enough that you don't have 200 cards in it anymore. And in case you're not aware, Magic the Iron doesn't have a maximum deck size as long as you can shuffle your deck unassisted. So good luck making a deck that meets those requirements and meets the requirements of being over 200 cards. I tried to find cards like Battle of Wits out there, but there's pretty much nothing. There are cards that give alternate win conditions, like Approach of the Second Sun and Laboratory Maniac, but there aren't other cards that have a win condition attached to your deck size. The most similar card I could find is Mortal Combat, which is a card that lets you win if you have 20 more, more cards in your graveyard. But I couldn't find any other MTG cards that factor your deck size in their rules text. If you think I missed something, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to see if there's any cards like Battle of Wits out there. This is a really weird card, because it goes against any wiser instincts of a magic player to build a deck that's small and efficient, and encourages you to build one that's large. Building a deck with this one is going to be... interesting. Let's try it. So, how the heck do you try and make a deck for Battle of Wits? Like usual, let's try to sketch out a few ideas on how to build your library for this card. It's obvious enough that you have to fill the deck with 200 or more cards in it, but the question is, what should those cards be? Enlightened Tutor and Idyllic Tutor can be very handy here, to say the least. There's also a plea for guidance, too. Spells that let us draw into the cards, like Faithless Looting, can also prove useful. Side note, while doing research for this video, I stumbled across an article that gives the top 50 card drawing spells. I'll put a link to it in the description for your use. Next, if you want to make this an enchantment-based deck, you could use Engomatic Incarnation to great effect. Finally, Enduring Ideal is a card that you could use, but it's quite the costly sorcery. Still, something to look into. Are there any creatures that let us closer to our game-winning card? Academy Vector, Lost Aurora Mancers, Cryptic Annelid. Annelid? Yeah. Cryptic Annelid, Crystal Seer, Court Hussein, and Delver Secrets are all possibilities to consider. Creatures that draw us closer to our battle of wits, like Cloudkin Seer, could be handy, along with creatures like Arcanus Owl. Any other cards? I recommend adding spells like Negate, just in case your opponent tries to counter your battle of wits. Sterling Grove can also give an enchantment Shroud, and we can sacrifice it to find the battle of wits if we need to. If it wasn't so expensive, I would say Elias Lamb might be good in the deck, but it costs 10 mana! 10! Anyway, because we're going to be digging through our deck and drawing cards, we should remove our maximum hand size by using things like Thought Vessel. Cards like Anticipate, Ponder, Browse, Drawn from Dreams, and Ancestral Knowledge can help us see what's coming next in our deck, and either pull out our Battle of Wits or bring us closer to it. Since our graveyard might fill up thanks to all these things, how about adding cards to shuffle our graveyard into our libraries like Reminisce or Time Spiral? That could come in handy. As we end this section, I just want to let you know that Battle of Wits got a feature article on the official MTG website when Nolan Blackwelder made a competitive deck for it at a TCG player open. His deck list is pretty neat, and I recommend you check it out if you want to play with this card. I'll leave a link in the description. Saffron Olive also did an article slash video on the card and made a deck. I'll put it down below as well. Well, that just about ends our time today with Battle of Wits. Have you ever played with this strange card? What are your thoughts on it? Is there a misfit card that you know of that you think I should look at? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a like and subscribing. I don't get any money from YouTube for doing this because I don't know subscribers yet, so that would really help me out. And if you really like it, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash norbez, 
where you can get early access to my work, vote for what I should do next, and even get a custom video or essay if you want one. Alright, this is Bez from the Binary Misfit Cards, and I will see you next time.